But the biggest thing that I didn't even think about until just now is my day we're going to be reviewing reacting roasting to my very first day of doom eternal breaking down the combat what i did good and bad and then we'll compare and contrast to a modern clip in just a moment so you can see my fov is different that is fine i, I upped it to 115 i used to use 90 and i'm really sticking to that oh look at that early punch tech right there just kidding this is really horrible i wish i maybe picked a different room i don't know the air mobility is nice I wish I picked a different room, but air mobility is nice. Wow. Okay, so let's fast forward back ahead a little bit wherever we were. A lot of combat shotgun usage, probably a little too much of it. A lot of base fire, too, when I should be doing the stickies. I know to flame belch the groups of enemies. That's good, too. Uh, movement. Do you think movement's maybe a little jerky? It's not really refined or smooth just yet. Uh, I'm really... Okay, the only reason I moved over to the plasma was because I ran out of shotgun or something. Uh, so I'm charging up Heat Blast. I knew to do that from 2016, but but nothing's really smooth when, when you're looking at the combat. And this was my 12th try on here. Uh, first try, I burned up all my extra lives and then had to just uh, do this from here. Okay, so uh, as I'm saying, I have not pulled out the Heavy Cannon. Not once. Once the Heavy Cannon does not come out. So I can also tell that the base fire is too much. I, I like how I've got everything going on, but I don't know. Whoever's playing this is, is being a newbie. Just kidding. So I uh, go in for the glory kills and that works too. The main problems I'm seeing with this is the jerky movement, which is not even a, it's, it's whatever. You have, the, the biggest problem is one weapon. I'm only using the combat shotgun and I am only even doing a lot of base fire. So something's going wrong there, right? Now the Dread Knight, let's see how I handle this. I have a full almost heat blast. Almost, there's our full. Okay, I know to do the blast, it's 700 damage. 300, 500, 700 per pip on each one, but I don't yet do the chainsaw trick where you bring in two chainsaw or three and save it for that dread knight. So I'm going to get a lot of revenants spawning in here in just a second since I'm so slow. And I guess the other knight too. I'm hitting low health a lot at this point and I don't really have the strats to use for the revenants. How two of the heat blast pips will break off both of their rocket launchers on their shoulders. I'm just saying, I still have not seen one single heavy cannon use, and that's such a very popular and powerful weapon with the quick swapping. I could have used it right there to get rid of his, ooh, right beside the barrel, ouch. Could have used it right there to get rid of his cannons, but I didn't. Now, finally, finally, here it is, here it is, okay. So, a lot of base fire. Man, what's with this base fire? I know this was the first day of the game, but holy crap, I'm really getting put into that low health. And like I said, this is my 12th attempt on it. Where is, where is the precision bolt? Oh my god. Oh, man. Go back and watch some of your earlier videos. You'll see some things, man. Okay. Could go for the weak points. I mean, that would help a little bit. Base fire. No, stop doing it. So, at least another chainsaw. I've barely used the grenades. So, that's another thing that I'd want to do now. Let's see what else is the issue. I, I guess I'm being forced to use all the other weapons. Or maybe I just remembered it. But I do want to let you hear something. That, that I We'll come back to this section. You have to hear this, okay? Listen to this. Soak up that armor. Good job with the flame belch usage right there. All right, so let's take a look and see as the arena begins to fade down where we are. I can't get over all that base fire. So the revenants are coming in. We're looking pretty good there. And I, I, what I'm finding out too is I am at least able to restack, right? I'm still able to pull that health and armor back with the flame belch. I'm not using blood punch like hardly at all, properly at least. But when this arena, you want to pull your blood punch together for the big packs of enemies. When you really where there's so many fodder, you want to you know flame belch them all. Use your frags, your blood punches, your heat blast pips to get all the groups together. Since you don't have your headshot mastery for the precision bolt that explodes all the fodder, finally get a revenant. So I think a lot of these things really it's it's not so much like oh it's my fault. This is not what I would do, but it's just not understanding the game yet where it's so new. Okay, I mean I would have heat blasted a little earlier, but that works too. I think at this stage, I'm whittling them down, and it's a huge difference really when you compare a more modern gameplay that I just pulled up and pulled together with uh, one recording, and we're going to look at it after this one and see how it differs. So as you can see, it's just the lone gargoyle, and I'm pretty sure this is the end of it. Look at the relief on my face here. Okay, so let's compare and contrast that with a random just play. I just booted up the game just to record this footage, nothing special about it. So you can see I'm using the heat blast, trying to get them all together. And that was a base combat shotgun. And using all the different weapons, whereas before you just see me using the regular shotgun. I need to make these armor pulls for situations just like that. I can dance around, avoid shots better as I'm talking to you and just demonstrating what I'm doing. 
quick switching and the, well i'm not even so much quick switching but the scope in just like that watch boom oh, i don't have the barrel upgrade Oop, better not do that oh another thing too blood punching the crowds so all together if i had to review it then and now i would say that the movement is a lot more smooth i know to save the oh wow this is really nice so i know to save everything i can recover better if i screw something up like that oh i have my chainsaw saved for that dread knight on purpose I haven't been using my flame belts like I need to. Boom. So all together, I, I know it's been like a year and a half, but I can tell a huge difference from then and now. I mean, I know I've gotten low health, but I'm like talking and trying to demonstrate something. I also know that two of these little charges here as I'm charging up will break those revenant cannons. That's what they're called. Whatever. So you see just everything so much gosh, it's so crazy going back and looking at your first day and like seeing what's changed like i can sloppily play here but it just and this is for anybody watching like anybody watching if you go back and look at your first day eternal is so good about player progression player progression and helping you understand like i can get better at this game you go back you go back look go take like a few months ago and see i actually have to get rid of the dread knight so what else is there Oh, faltering. Watch, watch. I wouldn't have done this on day one. Let me find him. Oh, this is actually a really risky move. Boom. Falter, blood punch the Dread Knight. Never would have done that day one because it's stuff that you learn over time. Let's get rid of this little sucker here. Is this it? See, it's just a difference. And I don't mean this like when you go look back at your old play in like a bragging way. But if you reflect, you can tell like, hey, these are things I'm doing at this point that I used to not do. And it just shows how far we've come as players. And it's just a really cool thing to do. So now that we've seen old and new, let's go back to the old and look at it through the lens and new of reflecting it. So first of all, as we see, still lots of base fire compared then and now. The tool belt is a huge thing that I noticed in the play that I'm not doing. So my flame belch does not really come out often, but the biggest thing that I didn't even think about until just now is my dash. I am not utilizing my dash in the best way. Single dashes and waiting for the recovery versus double dashes, I just don't know that there's a, a difference to use it much and I'm not fully utilizing the dash the grenades the flame belch the blood punch all these things I'm supposed to do I'm falling back on the base fire way too much and even though I did ultra nightmare several times in 2016 it's different from eternal especially in the day one you have to play the games differently I think even even something as minor as the FOV increase also helped because I know a lot of people play with super high FOV now. I, I cap at 115 instead of 90, but you can tell I'm more comfortable and the difference behind it. And if that's not, just go back and look at your old footage. And if that's not motivation to show you how far you can come in this game, I don't know what is. It's so well designed for players to learn and grow. And, and it's just crazy if you go back and look at it. Also, I just want to thank everybody who's become a member lately that has gotten into the membership crew. If you want to become one, if you want me to see all your comments, sign up on the join button below, and I really do appreciate it. We're getting a pretty cool group set up there. You should be a part of it too. All right, I'm Austin. Check out the next video here, and thank you for watching.